I want to do a quick little update. This is going to be episode 7, but it's going to be really short. Basically just an overview of what I've done uh, so far. I feel like in part 6, I didn't quite address everything um, completely that I was working on. That was mainly due to the fact that I was waiting for some parts from powder coating. Um, also, some things I wasn't able to do on my own, so I had to help. So it was kind of like... I kind of did an unfinished series there, but I, it was already the next Sunday, so I had to get the series out. But uh, I'll go over real quick kind of everything that I got finished up. It's all basically updated to the, the point of parts that you've seen me working on in the last episode or two. So uh, I'll show you there. Right now I'll give a little explanation. So the big thing that uh, I was working on was these 4-inch aluminum runners here. Uh, there, you can see a little bit better that way. So... Uh, I was waiting for those from powder coating, wasn't able to do the install video there, but uh, I got those up the other night. Um, so basically, all those nuts we put on, on the, uh, the stock holes in the sidewall, those are all screwed on. I'm missing a few bolts here, but uh, nothing, nothing that doesn't hold it together. So I have these quarter 20 holes every 5 inches, I believe it is, and basically that will allow me to mount shelves, hooks, whatever I want, all the way down the length of the van. Uh, same thing on this side. And then got all of the racks installed, which you should have seen in part six. Uh, so those are all bolted in. Also, these strips, one's pinched over there. So that bolt holds on the rack and, uh, and the strip here. So it pinches it and it makes it a lot more rigid. So like right now, these are, these are super strong. Um, the other thing I also went over in part six, but go over once more is these angles here. Uh, lots of bolts holding those on quarter inch thick, really rigid hole every six inches to put uh, tie down hooks through. Uh, you could bolt a bed onto there or a shelf to go all the way across. Uh, got these boards as well, which have also been covered. Uh, behind them is the bagged fiberglass insulation stuffed into all the holes, so that gave a lot more insulation. Definitely quieted up the vehicle a lot. And then on this side, we also have one, one solid piece all the way down the length of the van. So, oh, and then on top of that, uh, the bed frame is in progress. I never really showed how that fit in here, but um, I got that bolted in as well, which the build on that will come later. But there's gonna be like a triangular section here Oh, triangular section with a little square add-on that's gonna be all one removable piece so when I'm in like sleep mode uh, I can stretch out and be like super comfortable but if I'm just doing like a track day or a, a day trip up north to go uh, trail riding or something uh, I can take that out and then it allows me to still walk between the seats to get to the back and these will have nice platforms over them for uh, storage or sitting whatever I can also address some questions that people have been having. Um, so some people, you notice on a lot of other van builds, uh, especially the sprinters, what people will do is they put, they just put boards all the way, basically from this surface, so they cover all that window cavity. Uh, they put boards over these cross members instead of flush with them. Uh, so basically, I don't... I don't really think that's the best way to do it. It's it's definitely an efficient way to do it and it works well. That's why outfitting companies do it because they can't spend two, three months building a van like I'm doing now. But what what my design, how I think it's a lot better is it creates complete versatility on the go. Like while I'm traveling, it's, it's gonna be super easy for me to say, hey, I don't like a, a shelf I have up here. It's too small or too big. I could easily make another shelf and bolt it up, like do all that inside of here. Um, the racks here, say I wanted to squeeze someone else's bike, bike in here. I'm gonna have the nice like peg mount clamp things for my bikes, most likely. I ordered uh, some risk racing things, uh, you can look them up, but that'll come later. Um, but if I decided I need to tie another bike down, I could put it in between my two bikes. I've got all the tie down points here. Uh, if I'm not towing bikes, I could also put a bed platform all the way across here. Uh, I could technically mount it across between any of these struts uh, from wall to wall. So it's it's super, it's it's really overbuilt. Like everything is super rigid. It's, uh, it's very strong 
and it's versatile. So that's kind of what I'm going for here. As well as, oh, another quest, another big question has been, why didn't I just use like spray foam insulation or why didn't I glue uh, boards on and glue the insulation on? And I'm really trying to limit the amount of things I alter on the van. So I'm trying to minimize holes I drill, uh, spraying glue, stuff like that. Stuff that damages the van in a way. So even, even like the ceiling, which you've seen in the other part, I didn't drill any holes or use any glue to mount all this. Okay, that's a lie. I used glue for the Reflectix there, but that was mainly being sprayed onto the uh, the foam board insulation back there. So some things that you can expect to see in the next few episodes. Uh, I'm gonna be finishing up the bed frame. Uh, I've gotta, gotta add some more pieces. I'll get more into that. There's gonna be a shelf that goes up from the end of the bed frame all the way to the ceiling and then hangs out about two feet this way. I've got the LED lighting, which is multicolor. You can have it fade in and out, all that cool trick stuff. Uh, I haven't figured out exactly where I want to mount it yet. Likely it'll be along these strips here. I ended up getting a 150 amp hour battery, which I'm gonna have isolated from the vehicle system. So that'll allow me to charge my laptop, charge my uh, GoPros and stuff all while I'm like parking and camped out. And it should hopefully just be enough power to run all that without any issues. Uh, you know, it's all pretty low power draw and I mean, it's, it's a massive battery. So I'll try that out for this first trip. I was considering solar, but I don't know if I'm gonna go that route, uh, at least for this first go. I've got the light bars. I've got a 52 inch light bar and a 20 inch light bar. So one for the front, one for the rear. And I'm probably going to do like pods going out the side. So if I'm like trying to maneuver around in tight woods, I can really see uh, the size of the vehicle well. I also got a CB radio, so that'll be cool. It should get really exciting the next couple episodes. There will be lots of accessories coming. Lots of the fab work will be being completed. And, uh, you know, the big thing is like getting this bed frame done. I got my mattress in today so I can get that cut out in the shape and then get that all set out so I could sleep in here if I wanted to. Well, I will be sleeping in it, but I mean, like right now, I can I can go on a little test camp if I want. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll try to get the next episode out again this Sunday, which will be episode eight, uh, but no guarantees. I don't really know <laughs> how much I'll be able to put in there, what I'm going to be able to get done, but... I'll try and work hard every day and, uh, and get enough content uh, to do the episode 8. So thanks for watching and we'll talk to you later.